All right, it's July. It's summertime, the Olympics are upon us, and I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where we only have a few hot months of the year, so I thought it was time for me to do a review of my favorite shorts that I wear in the gym. What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm a mom of two kids. If you've seen some of my previous videos, thank you so much for joining me again. Thanks for all the love on my previous videos. If you're new here, my name is Angela and I post all types of content about self-care, fitness, wellness. I love doing reviews of gym wear. Thanks for joining, like and subscribe, and let's get this going. Now, I don't wear shorts a lot to the gym. I generally wear leggings, but in July and August in Calgary, it is hot, hot, hot. Maybe from where you're watching from, it's been hot already for several months, but it just started getting warm here and I just started busting out all of my shorts and I've been collecting different brands of shorts different types of shorts and I wanted to go through them give you a review of some of my favorites just in case you're hemming and hawing on which types to buy I was inspired to make this video because I was talking to some women at my gym and they said they've actually never worn shorts to the gym and I think this is more common than we think. Lots of women don't wanna have their legs exposed for lots of different reasons, but I started wearing my shorts and I was inspiring them and they were asking what brands I was wearing and which ones I liked the best. And that's why I thought I wanted to come on here and maybe inspire a few of you to see maybe if you are on the fence about wearing shorts to the gym or which type to buy, I'm here for you. Now it's actually really late in the day. I'm filming this at about 8 p.m. at night. My kids are sleeping and I wanted to post this earlier in the day but the day got away from me, so here we are. I'm looking a little frazzled. I'm pretty tired, but we're gonna get this going because I definitely wanna get this review going for you given that it's early July. I'm also a little bit out of breath because I have been trying on all of these shorts. I've been feeling them, wearing them, moving in them because I really wanted to get a really good thorough mix of different types of shorts and wanted to provide a really thorough review of each of them. We are rating these shorts by whether they're squat proof. We're doing a cheek check to see what they look like from behind. We're doing overall comfort, of course, what the camel toe situation is. And then at the end, I'll give you the overall value of the short based on how much I spent. All right, let's get into it. I mean, it's no surprise that this pair of shorts made it to my top, but here we are. We have the effortless shorts right here. Now, I've already done a review of these effortless shorts, so I'll tag it right here. You guys know that I do love Honor Active, but in Canada, you do have to pay duty, so you really gotta make sure you are loving the shorts before you make the purchase because it is quite a pain in the ass to return, and I'd say they are a higher price point. Now, if you've never felt this material before, it's really tough to explain. It's a very soft brush material. I wouldn't say it's that compressive in the leg. However, the waistband is quite compressive, which is nice. Kind of got the three-tiered waistband, ribbed design, nothing fancy here, and in the back you have the scrunch. Now, you probably should start by saying that even within a brand, every single color within the line is made differently. So obviously, if you're getting lighter colors, they're not going to be squat proof. If you're getting lighter colors, they're not going to be sweat proof. Darker colors tend to be a little bit more compressive. So these are things you need to think about. So just because you have a lovely dark pair of shorts that are squat proof, sweat proof, quite compressive, doesn't mean you can buy a lighter color and have them fit the same way. So something to think about. So these are red. It's probably about a medium color that Effortless has. I mean, they did just drop a bunch of their bright colors for summer, which I love, but you can 100% see that they are sheer. So definitely not squat proof. Do have the Effortless leggings in darker colors and they are squat proof um, here I'm wearing it with a white seamless thong so you can't actually see the seamless thong in this red color however in the lighter colors they're not gonna be squat proof as for sweat proof if you're doing a lot of cardio or you sweat a lot you're gonna see the sweat in these guys they do wick the sweat away quite quickly so for the squat proof of these shorts I gave them a 5 out of 10 as for the camel toe these shorts are actually the shorts that had me start wearing underwear underneath my leggings. I never used to wear underwear until I bought these shorts and I put them on and I was like, what the hell? Cause I can't return these. They came, you know, all the way from Germany or whatever. So I started wearing seamless songs underneath my leggings because of these shorts. I think that this is just part of wearing honor active effortless shorts. You're gonna get a camel toe. I mean, it is what it is. I know some women wear panty liners. I gave it a three out of 10 in the camel toe department. Now for cheek check, obviously 
obviously the popularity of these shorts is because they look hella good on the glutes. I gave these 10 out of 10. They always look good. For overall comfort, I also gave them a 10 out of 10. Just the way they feel, you know, you can't actually feel the scrunch at all. The waistband is compressive, but it doesn't dig. And then the thigh area too, just has a simple seam here. So it's not digging at all. 10 out of 10 for comfort. Now, overall, would I buy this short to wear in the gym? Yes, I would. It's expensive. I mean, it could potentially be see-through and not <laughs> sweatproof. However, for comfort level and for the way it looks on the glutes, you know, 10 out of 10. So I would consider buying these again, but not at full price, only if there was a sale. Okay, moving to another UK brand. I have my Bowen t-shirts here that I bought last month. I actually picked these up in London. If you saw my video of my review of Bowen t, trying them for the first time, I'll tag it here. But yes, these are my black shorts. These are the only colors that I could get with the spring launch. However, I do have leggings. So a lot of my ratings are coming from my experience wearing the leggings, which I've been wearing a lot since I purchased them. Now the bone tee actually is very similar material to the effortless. And again, I did a comparison in my video, but the fabric is almost identical, which I love. The difference between the effortless and the bone tee is that we've got kind of the parachute butt here, so a little bit of extra material in the butt. It looks funny like this. It looks funny when I hold it up, but when you put it on, this extra material on your glutes actually makes it squat proof. So can guarantee, even in the lighter color leggings that I have, these are squat proof. So I did give it a nine out of 10 because I couldn't guarantee for like the yellow or the lilac color, they would be squat proof. So nine out of 10 in the squat proof department. Now in the camel toe department, for this short, I did get, give it a five out of 10. The honor active got a three out of 10. And the difference being is because there's this extra material in the back, I find you're not doing, you know, the pull of the material up your butt to get that look that you're trying to achieve like you do with the effortless. So because you're not pulling it up your butt, you're not actually getting the camel toe. So, I mean, it's still, there I noticed it a little bit in my lighter color so 5 out of 10 for the camel toe department cheek check similar to effortless it is a 10 out of 10 it looks so great on the glutes I can see why it is so popular and for comfort I did give it an 8 out of 10 which is less than the effortless because the waistband is actually a little bit more compressive however it does really suck you in and it's actually one of the highest waisted shorts that I have sitting well above the belly button. So overall, again, you know, if you saw my video, I actually was in London and purchased these, so I didn't have to pay duties. But if you live in Canada, you would have to pay duties on these. So if you're buying them regular price, they are gonna be quite pricey. Now, if you like the look of a scrunch butt, then definitely pay the money for the effortless or the bow and tee. However, I'm not sure that I would purchase them at regular price because there are other options that you'll see that are much more friendly on my wallet. And that brings me to my Gymshark shorts. So I have a few different Gymshark shorts that I've tried in the past. I have multiple color of these. First up, I have the Gymshark sweat shorts. Now this is a very popular collection from Gymshark. You can see why when I'm wearing Wearing it here out of all the shorts that I've tried on these ones hug the waist so good I look totally snatched totally sucked in it is a very compressive waistband because it has this dip in the front it's really really flattering and I love 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 the way that it looks in the front in the back they definitely leave a lot to be desired for the cheek check on these they actually got the worst out of all the shorts i gave them a five out of ten definitely given like a unibut you can't even see the separation of the cheeks some people love that i don't mind it because i love the short itself it is so thick and compressive which i love especially for a leg day it does not budge when you are working out. It does not budge on the waist. It does not budge on the leg. It's so thick. It is 100% squat proof. And I can probably guarantee that no matter what color you get, even if it's a lighter color, it'll be 100% squat proof. It is such a thick material. Doesn't show sweat because it is a thick material. So 10 out of 10 for being squat proof. I just feel comfortable in them. There's nothing worse than going to the gym and having to pull them down constantly. Really like these ones. However, the only thing I will note is is that because of the aggressive ribbing on the waistband, you get those lines on your stomach when you take them off. So I have to be really careful if I'm working out before a photo shoot or before I'm filming, I can't wear these shorts because it's gonna leave lines on my stomach 
which is not something you want for a photo shoot. So overall, I'm pretty sure I bought these shorts for maybe $20 Canadian when there was a sale. There's a Gymshark sale going on right now and they have a lot of colors on sale. I think it's the galaxy purple that I'm after. It's really, really cheap, but for the quality of the short, for it to be 100% squat proof, I think it's a really good short. Next up, kind of along the same lines, we have the Gymshark Vital 2.0. And I, again, love these shorts. They're super thick, super thick waistband, super compressive, everything that I love in a short. I mean, it's hard not to love this color, so it makes the short just really pop. It's one of the shorter shorts that I own. It's very compressive, 10 out of 10 for squat proof. On the booty scale, it does not make my glutes look great, but for what I'm going for comfort wise, compression wise, these Gymshark shorts are awesome. This was fairly inexpensive, 20 or $30. They have so many fun colors and they're always coming out with new colors, especially if you are in Canada. The great thing is that you can purchase from the sale and as long as it doesn't say final sale, you can return it for free. It's very simple. It's just as easy as Amazon. You know, they send you the shipping label to print and you just package it up and you drop it off at Paralator, I believe. And that's all you have to do. And that brings me to my third Gymshark short. It is the Legacy. So definitely one of the shortest shorts that I have and actually wear comfortably in the gym. Love these shorts. So these are completely different than the other two Gymshark shorts we just talked about. I feel like my leg's falling asleep. It's actually material wise the thinnest out of all the shorts that I'm reviewing today. But but I love these shorts for a cardio day. I love that they stay in place, they're comfortable, and they keep me cool when the gym gets really hot in the summer. What are they not good for? They show sweat so easily and it does take a hot minute for it to dry. So I just wore these in my Fit Mom Diaries vlog, watching the footage back. I think there's some moments in the video where I turn around and you can actually see all the sweats. So not great, but hey, I'm working hard and I don't get offended when I see people sweating when I'm sweating, but I know some people do not wanna be showing their sweat in the gym. Squat proof, yes. Yeah, so this is a thin material, like I said, but I don't know how they do it for some reason. It is squat proof and I have these shorts in quite a few colors. Often just wear seamless thongs with them. I'm wearing a white seamless thong and you can't see squat in them. <laughs> Get it? I love them. But the fun things about these shorts, I see influencers all the time pulling up the ties on the side. I don't usually do this because they're short enough for me already. I have quite long legs and I will leave my measurements down below. I did purchase extra small in all of these so you can take a peek at how they look on my body if you have similar measurements to me. But I usually don't pull the ties on the side because I find that they just make it a little bit too short. Plus the ties kind of like flop around and I'm not sure really know and I don't really know what to do with them. So I kind of just leave them as is, but I mean, it is cool that it's pretty versatile. You can make them shorter if you want to and, or bring them down. So yes, I absolutely love these shorts. I would say again, out of all these shorts, I would wear these for lounge as well. They're super comfortable. So squat proof, we got eight out of 10. Cheek check, nine out of 10. Doesn't have a scrunch. I mean, lots of influencers pull them up their butts and they look great, but for me, I like leaving it flat because pulling it on my butt will make it actually shorter, but I still like the way it looks. So cheek check, I gave a nine out of 10 and overall comfort, I gave a nine out of 10. So again, these are really inexpensive shorts. Um, they have kind of a plum brown color, which I really love. I also have a blue and a black, so really love the legacy shorts. Next up, we have our Elfily Amplify shorts. I only have the shorts in black, but I do have the leggings in a few different colors. My favorite being whale blue. So a lot of my ratings are based off the lighter colors. I know that black isn't always reflective of how a short is going to be. So what can I say about Amplify? I hate to say it, but I feel like they're just kind of a worse effortless legging. I find that they still look great and they feel great, but they're not as soft. The scrunch is definitely not as soft either, not as subtle. So I find that you can feel the scrunch a little bit. And I do notice myself pulling them down a little bit more in the gym. I bought these on a whim during a sale. So it was probably worth it. You know, it's nice to have a thick, nice black short, especially I like to wear black shorts when I'm getting my period. I just am more comfortable in that. So do I regret buying these? No, absolutely not. However, I definitely reach for my effortless, my bow and tee and all my Gymshark stuff before I reach for my Amplify. So squat proof, I would say 
it's similar to the effortless it is slightly thicker so i think i gave effortless a five so i'm gonna give these a six and in the camel toe area definitely a little bit better than the effortless i find because the material isn't as soft it's a little bit thicker you're not getting camel toe as often as if you would in the effortless so i'm giving these a five out of ten the same as the bow and tee for cheek check obviously the amplifies the huge hype around them several years ago was because of the scrunch i mean is it the og scrunch lagging i don't know definitely makes the glutes look great giving it a 7 out of 10 for the cheek check and overall comfort like I said they're just a little bit stiff in the scrunch a little bit stiff in the legs so giving it a 6 out of 10 definitely when I wear these to the gym I'm coming home and taking them off right away and I had to throw in kind of the first pair of shorts that I ever bought to wear to the gym if you've seen some of my other videos you know that I love airy bathing suits clothing I also love their gym wear their airy hugger leggings I actually own in five different colors my first plunge into the shorts world was actually the airy hugger shorts and these are amazing so i've had these for several years now and they've held up great they're not pulling at all no issues with the seams or anything like that i have these in multiple colors and i swear they were probably 15 to 20 dollars so rather than going on amazon and trying to find like dupes for things honestly wait until there's an airy sale and get the airy hugger shorts i swear they feel just like a lines from lululemon so i would recommend these however something to note is they are not seamless they have a front seam so you will get a camel toe something to note that you are going to be pulling at it a little bit super comfortable super squat proof sweat wicking i think some of the newer colors may not be as thick as this og one that i have but i did want to just point out that i've tried a lot of amazon dupes for lululemon effortless sure they feel look great coming out of the bag but once you wash it a little bit wear them a little bit they stretch out in all the wrong places they get a little bit uncomfortable so i try to steer away from getting dupes and i highly recommend you do the same all right that's it it's like almost 9 p.m it's pretty much my bedtime because you guys know I wake up at like 5 to go to the gym. So I need to wrap this up so I can <laughs> start my night routine and start winding down for the night. All right, let's go through the top shorts in all of the categories. First up, we have which of the shorts is the most squat proof. And who knows because, you know, the numbers are all arbitrary. I'm just telling you what I feel and what my opinion is. The most squat proof are the Gymshark Sweat and the Gymshark Vital 2.0. I know these shorts are super thick I have them in fairly light colors I have them in leggings and in shorts and you do not see anything I wear them for leg days upper body I absolutely love them yes they are a little bit thicker so if you live in an extremely hot climate or your gym is really really hot maybe you don't want to be wearing as thick a short but I prefer to wear a thicker short and be a little bit warmer than have everyone see my ass next up we have the camel toe so which short prevents any type of camel toe and my top is the sweat from Gymshark again it is just a thick legging it stays in place and the reason i chose it over the vital 2.0 is just because it's a little bit longer so i find it doesn't bunch up there as much as the vital but also i find it a little bit more compressive so it's not budging it stays in place and you're not having to pull it down out places that you don't want it to be all right, cheek check. Now for me, the winner is actually the bow and tee short, and this might surprise some of you. I have a feeling you thought I was gonna say the Honor Active Effortless, but I've just come to love the bow and tee so much. I just find that the contouring and the extra material in the glutes makes my glutes, my personal glutes, look way rounder, look way more defined. And so my personal preference for cheek check is going to be the bow and tee short. Now for overall comfort, I would say material wise, the most comfortable legging is actually the effortless because I'm so self-conscious of having a camel toe in these and constantly pulling them down. I don't love to wear these out. I don't love the feeling of having to constantly be pulling material out of my crotch. So for the most comfortable short for me, I went with the Gymshark legacy shorts 
I just find, you know, they're super soft, they're super thin, they still look good. You're not getting a camel toe because they don't have a super compressive waistband or leg. They're super comfortable to be wearing all day. And there we have it. I think we have a clear winner in regards to brand. Gymshark definitely is the front runner here. I just find for the price point, they make the most versatile leggings. And then being in Canada, it's really easy to purchase from Gymshark and to make returns given that they're free. So I definitely highly recommend checking them out if you're new to wearing shorts in the gym to figure out what you like. Now, you guys probably think that this video is sponsored by Gymshark. It absolutely is not. And I've 100% tried things from Gymshark that I do not like and have returned. Definitely recommend giving it a go. Do it now because they have a summer sale going on and a lot of the shorts are really, really stinking cheap. Just be mindful that it doesn't say non-refundable. You wanna be able to buy them, try them, and if they don't work, exchange them for a different color or size, or maybe they're just not for you. Thank you so much for being here and watching my video. If you enjoy watching this video, please subscribe and comment down below if you have a short that you love that you think I should be trying. I feel like some people, well, no wait, I feel like a lot of people live in a much warmer climate than I do and probably wear shorts year round, so their sample size might be much larger than mine is. Again, I just wanna say that these are my opinions and what works with my body type. Um, you may disagree with me, you might agree with me, but my hope is that if you were looking for a sign to start wearing shorts in the gym, I'm hoping that I inspired you just a little bit and know that you'll look amazing no matter what you wear. I hope you all have a great evening and bye for now.